hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this filterable gallery to your blogger website now in the previous video i showed you how to design this from scratch using html css and javascript so this is how it works we can see that we have this uh, gallery over here and we can click on any of these different categories and uh, those images will be displayed over here and if i click on all all the images will be displayed and this is also completely responsive now in this video we will add this to our blogger website so let's get started right here i have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, let's add this design to a new post so here you have to go to post and click on new post and here for the title i'll just type our gallery you can add any title you want over here now the first thing you have to do is change this into the HTML view. So by default it will be in the compose view. Just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add your HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So first of all let's add the CSS. I'll just create a style tag. And uh, let's go to our source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the style.css file and let's copy everything from here. And let's paste it right here. Now here we can see that there is uh, some styling for the body as well. So let's go ahead and remove the styling from the body because uh, it will change the styling of the whole page. So let's go ahead and uh, remove this font family and add it to this uh, gallery container. Let's also change the color of the text and add it to this uh, gallery container. And I'll just go ahead and delete this uh, selector. Right now let's go ahead and add our HTML. So let's go outside the style tag. And let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the HTML file and let's copy this HTML from here till the end. And let's paste it over here. And then lastly, we need to paste the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And uh, let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the main.js file. Let's copy all this uh, JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here. Now, here if we go to our HTML, we can see that we have created these uh, different filter buttons over here so we have all web design branding and photography and they are displayed over here now if you want to add more you can just add more buttons over here with your own different categories and after that inside the gallery grid you have to create gallery items with the class name of this uh, data filter so for example if you have web as the data filter and if you want to add the image for the web then you can just add gallery item and also a class called web and that you can add this img tag so in this way you can go ahead and add any number of gallery images that you want over here now here we can see that we have these images source set to images forward slash the image name but we don't have that images folder in our blogger website so first of all let's upload the images over here and then we will get the link and paste it into the source so here i'll just click on this insert image button let's click on upload from computer and let's click on browse and here we can see that we have these different images so let's select all of these and let's click on open and we can see that all the images are being uploaded now here we need to choose the size and the alignment let's choose the size as original and let's set the alignment as none and let's click on ok and here we can see all the images are uploaded over here now we can just get the links from here and paste it to the source so here for the link you have to go to the href attribute so here we can see for the first one this is the href so let's copy this link from here so it is still here this is branding1.jpg so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it for branding1.jpg so i'll just paste it over here and uh, let's do the same for the other images so the next one is uh, branding2.jpg so let's copy this and let's paste it over here for branding2.jpg image all right let's look for the next image and uh, it is right here photography1.jpg so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it for this image right here and after that we have photography2.jpg so let's copy this and let's paste it over here for photography2 image and uh, then we have webdesign1.jpg so let's copy this 
and let's paste it over here for web design one and then lastly we have web design 2.jpg so let's copy this and let's paste it over here for this image source now that we have got the links of the images we can just go ahead and delete all these uh, images from here and the same way you can go ahead and change these classes to include them into a specific category and then we have the css over here where you can change the styling of our ui so now let's go ahead and click on publish and let's see how it looks let's click on confirm and here we can see our post was published let's click on view and here we can see our uh, gallery is being displayed and uh, we have these filter buttons over here as well let's click on these and they are working all right let's also check whether it is responsive and here we can see that it is completely responsive so that's basically how you can add this custom filterable gallery to your blogger website so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day